Hello friends, today we will discuss about these two hybrid system, a method that is widely used in molecular biological field to see whether two proteins such as this A and B are interacting or not. The method is usually based on the modular nature of eukaryotic transcription factor. So as I have said that eukaryotic transcription factor usually consists of a DNA binding domain and an activation domain. Now both of these domain are very much necessary to initiate a protein interaction okay both of these domains are very much necessary to initiate a protein interaction but both of them are not necessary to be present in a single protein only they are required to present in a close proximity so if they are close to each other then the transcription gets initiated but if both of them are not uh, close to each other then no transcription will occur so using this idea the scientist basically split this two domain into two different or two separate fragments and to study whether two proteins are are interacting or not they have attached two different protein to one of this domain and one in this domain okay let's see in next slide so here a dna binding domain which will binds to the upstream activator sequence is binded to one of the target protein also known as BET because this is our target protein whose interaction we want to study okay this is our target protein target protein whose interaction we want to see and this is some activation domain uh, activation domain which is again uh, tagged to potential interacting protein that will interact with this target protein okay and it is also known as spray so when this as i have told you earlier that this dna binding domain and activation domain will only activate transcription when they are in close proximity so if these two protein are interacting with each other then these two domain will come close to each other and when these two domain that will come close to each other then only it will activate the transcription okay so see in this slide this protein that bind this dna binding domain dvd as i have told you this dvd domain binds the dna sequence usually the upstream activator sequence of any gene that are present where it will bind and recruit our transcription domain only when activation domain binds to this dvd okay another protein which is interacting with this now this is remain binded to your activation domain okay activation domain now when these two protein are interacting with each other then only these two dvd and ad are in close proximity so when they are in, when they are in close proximity then your this axin will be activated because because of the close proximity of this dvd and ad will recruit your transcription machinery rna polymerase will come and bind to this um exit and it will activate its transcription okay transcription will on polymerase will bind and your transcription will on so in case if these two proteins are not interacting when they are not interacting so although this dna binding domain will bind to the upstream activator sequence but because they are not in close proximity or not interacting with each other the transcription machinery will not get recruited and as a result of which there will be no transcription so to uh, uh, to validate the authenticity of this process most of the scientists use reporter gene here to see whether these two protein are interacting or not so the process involves two separate plasmid one contains your the desired protein or bit whose interaction we want to study and they are usually fused with the protein coding sequence of this dna binding domain and another one other potential interacting protein with our target protein they are usually fused with the protein coding sequence of activation domain so both of them are usually co-transformed or sequ sequentially transformed into its engineered strain which may be lacking one of the metabolites and or they must contain any uh, reporter gene okay so only if they put these two proteins are interacting then this engineered strain will survive 
and finally that we will isolate our recombinant cells so let us suppose we are using a lag z reporter gene okay so our protein this and our this protein if these two proteins are interacting this bait and prey so in that case our reporter gene will be expressed but here we can see that there are no interaction since there is no interaction reporter gene will not be expressed so when they will be grown in media containing your x gel no functional beta galactosides so they will be giving you white colonies okay white colonies because no functional beta galactosidase will be produced here within the cell sorry i am so bad with the writing uh, in case where there is no interaction between those two protein though the dna binding domain and this activation domain will not be in close proximity to each other as a result of its transcription in machinery will not be recruited and your reporter gene will not be activated next if these two proteins are interacting with each other okay then the again they both are in close proximity to each other and when they are in close proximity to each other because of the protein protein interaction then your transcription machinery will be recruited and transcription will be on and as a result of which we will be getting a functional beta galactosidase functional beta galactosidase okay we will be getting functional beta galactosidase and this will be cleave after cleaving this x cal a chromogenic substrate we will be getting a blue color so this is how we can identify in many cases different kind of reporter genes are used such as any is cells unable to synthesize for a particular amino acid so they that they are also used so i am explaining you here regarding like z reporter gene so in this case we will be getting a blue colonies okay so we will get to know that yes the proteins are interacting so i hope you understand and please like and please subscribe thank you